Hi, I'm Karen Botha. I'm the author of the Commitment series, which is a gay romance series of books. Author of a few other things as well, but um, the Commitment series is my first gay romance. And there's a collection um, of the first books, the first three books that are in that series um, coming out soon. So I thought you might want a little bit of a taste of um, what goes on. So the first three books in this series, actually, let me show you, that's probably a good start, are Buckle Up, that's the first one, then there's G Force that I'm going to um, read you from today, and then the third book that's in that collection is Jumpstart as well, so um, the first three books. So we follow Kyle and Elliot as they meet and have some kind of a chemistry that neither have ever experienced before. How they act on that. And then Jump G-Force, which we're just going to read from today, is the section where they take that burgeoning desire and make it into a bit more of a relationship. So they go on holiday together in uh, G-Force. I'll read you what it says on the back of that particular book. Love breeds intensity, intensity breeds passion. Recovered from a life-threatening accident, Kyle Beaumont is a powerhouse who is eager to show Elliot Judd just how far he can push his hotter-than-ever physique. Their sexual and emotional exploits are driven to a depth neither has ever experienced with anyone else. As a racing driver superstar, Elliot loves handling power and he's geared up for taking everything Kyle throws his way. In fact, he craves it. But when the past smashes into their lives, is the couple prepared to handle possibly devastating disruptions? Set in a world of fast cars, intense love and a burning desire to win at all costs. This is a love story brimming with unbridled lust. Join Elliot and Kyle as they race their demons to the finish line in the hopes of taking home the ultimate prize, their undying love. That's what it's about. Now, all my books have quite short chapters, they're very simple language. They're not meant to be taxing, my books are meant to be escapism from life. They're um, little pieces of nothingness that you can just use to enhance that little moment that you can snatch for yourself in life. So um, what I'm going to read you now is one chapter and this is just how um, quickly and easy it is to pick the book up and put it down and to have had something happen and move on in every single chapter. So they do move quite fast paced as well. So this is Elliot's chapter. Pull over, he says, placing his hand on my arm and moving it to the side. Whoa, my heart skips a beat for a second as I visualise us hitting a tree on the country lane before it's obvious he's not got a death wish, just a sexual urge. Hang on, I give him a sideways glance and catch a wicked look in his eye. I missed at first. Let's be clear, why do I have to pull over? I keep him occupied while I find a safe place to park. I want to ravage you on the side of the road. I cannot wait to feel you inside me. I spy a space to pull over and so click my indicator on to show him that I'm more than oblige him. What do you mean by ravaging? I ask. I will take every part of you in my mouth, roll my tongue around that glorious cock of yours before planting my ass down on you and writhing until you can't hold yourself any longer. When you explode inside me, it will be with such force that my insides will palpitate with your lust, sending my throbbing dick into explosions of my own. Wow, I could take that. He laughs. The beer was definitely a good move tonight. And he's not kidding. No sooner have I pulled over in the parking bay, he's on me, ripping at my belt, kneeling on the seat at the side of me, craning over to suck my rigid cock into his mouth. He does indeed swirl his tongue around the end and I throb inside him as he twists his head over the top before widening his lips, shoving me down until I hit the back of his throat. Hang on, I groan, clicking the electric switch to fully slide my seat down. His hand slips off the bottom of the steering wheel where he'd been supporting himself and his head lands sideways on my lap, his gorgeous face grinning up at me with the most mischievous glint in his eye. My heart soars with carnal possibilities. Past the first throes of passion, we're creating the best types of memories here. Those based on a true bond that will see us through the rough times. Come here. 
I pull his butt over to sit on me and even in the cab of this huge 4x4 there's not enough space for his six foot body to move without the odd crack to his head. Finally I get him out of his pants and he straddles me naked from the waist down, his cock alight like a candle waiting for its flame. I grasp my fingers around him and thrum them, he matches my rhythm and the passion sears into my balls and the ache riding up my dick and into my butt. I groan, lose focus as my head swirls, swallowed by his glorious moment with the man I love. Do you have lube? he asks. His voice is so gruff, shivers run all over my cock as it begs to be inside him. I lean over, root in the glove compartment and retrieve a tube and condoms. I hand him the tube while I roll the rubber over my erection. I play with myself over the latex, watching as he warms himself up for me. He smiles, winks. You ready then? Oh, I'm more than ready. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's just um, a quick glimpse of what Elliot and Kyle get up to. Um, that's obviously quite a fun section, but there's a lot of emotion in there as well. There's, um, I don't know, they're nice boys. They're trying really hard, but they don't always get it right. So uh, I hope you enjoy the collection. Okay, that's me signing out for now. <laughs>